Remember a couple of years ago, I went out for a morning jog. I was actually in Tennessee, and I went out for a morning jog around maybe 6.30 in the morning. It was, the sun was up. And when I returned back to the hotel, there in the lobby, I saw this couple, husband, wife, and the, looked like a seven, eight-year-old son. And he was having a temper tantrum. He was yelling out at the top of his lungs, I want chicken fingers. And he was moving his hands, flailing his hands. I want chicken fingers. He wasn't going to eat a healthy breakfast. Why? And if you just look quickly and take a snapshot, you say, this kid's a spoiled brat. Maybe it's more than that. Maybe he's addicted to food, certain kinds of food, simple carbohydrates that just make his body crave more and more. And that's how he acted out. Then there's the spiritual symptoms. And one of the symptoms is this. Do you pray and ask God to help you with your weight and feel your prayers aren't being answered? And it's not that you shouldn't pray about that. It's the fact that the times that we're praying, asking God to help us with our weight, we're actually praying amiss. Not because, the, the reason why we're, not a, we're amiss is not because we don't need to adjust our diet and lose weight. That's not the issue. The issue is that our prayer is violating nutritional laws. Just like there's laws of buoyancy, laws of gravity, laws of thermodynamics. There are certain nutritional laws that God's put in place. Can you imagine me? I have this big box of Dunkin' Donuts. A dozen. Baker's dozen. Thirteen. And I love God with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. And I would like to say I live consistently with the Christian life in terms of character, morals, thought life. You understand? So I have basis that when I ask God, he said, when you ask, and, and you ask in faith, it won't be, it, it, God's going to answer. It's not going to be, you're not asking amiss. And so I'm asking God, and I'm asking God to help me, you know, to, you know, to, to deal with this donut, donuts in front of me. And here's what I pray. Lord, I curse these calories in Jesus' name. <laughs> How many of you think that God's going to answer that prayer? And those, when I consume those donuts, they won't have one calorie, any of them. Well, not. And that's exactly what we do when we pray and ask God to help us in, 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 in terms of our weight and our health. But we're violating nutritional principles and laws that God has set in motion as to how the body operates. I want you to see that this is very serious.